When will prices in the Chicago market stop declining? That's a pretty big question. Anybody have any thoughts on that? Not in 2010. But I think what, what we're seeing is uh, that the rate of decline has dropped dramatically in the last 12 months. And I think that what will create momentum for turning around is if I think, I go back to my, my earlier comments, that if people have much more confidence in the employment situation, they feel that there's a much higher probability of their job being maintained, I think we're gonna to start to see much more activity in the housing market. But until that happens, I think things are going to uh, trend down. Joe, how about the rental market? Uh, you, you mentioned that actually, you obviously you've retained people, that people who are renting, especially in terms of living space, they tend to be holding over, you know, they're coming, staying with you a little bit longer, but are the, the rental rates coming down as well? Are we seeing the same kind of a, a trend as we do in the, the purchase rate? Not on the apartments. The apartments are holding their own or, or going up uh, uh, on renewals and on new people coming into the units. But he asked that same question about retail, and I think you're going to find that that is trending down just like industrial, et cetera. I think one thing to add to that, too, it's two points that Gail and Jeff both talked about. Is Jeff said we have to work our way through the foreclosure market. I think that's a huge point, Gail. I think you said 50% of the homes sold were foreclosures or REOs. So I think as we do work through that, that's when we're going to see prices bottom out, and that's where we're going to start to see an uptick. But until we get to that point, you're going to be competing with foreclosures and short sales. 